Hey there folks and welcome back for another shaving video. I'm your host CDB, you are not, and today we have for you Regerac Blue Fougere, which is 300 grams, that's about 10.5, a little over 10 and a half ounces. Uh, this is 25 bucks, which is, I wrote it down, $2.38 an ounce, which is excellent uh, on price. Anything under three is excellent. Uh, if it's under four, it's very good. Uh, so this is excellent price. It comes in a box like this in a brick. And I took part of the brick and put it in this container I had. And it's filled, you know, all the way to the top with very little room. And I still have another chunk of it to put somewhere. Uh, and this thing is full. No room for loading. So on a value basis, in terms of cost, it is outstanding. Now, if you combine it with the aftershave... Um, the set is 30 bucks and the aftershave sells for 1250 normally. So if you want both, it's best to go ahead and get the uh, combo because it's considerably cheaper. You can get the combo for 30 bucks or the aftershave for 1250 and the soap for 25, but still very good price even if you buy the soap alone. The scent on this is it really does remind you of blue fougere. I didn't know um what it would be, quite frankly, based on the description. Um, but, you know, blue fougere really fits because it does have that sort of powderiness to it, like one of the blue aftershaves, while at the same time uh, having that fougere type um, scent as well. It's hard to explain, and I guess why this description doesn't really uh, explain that much, but it's a nice scent, a powdery blue, but still some spiciness to it. Um, really nice scent, but we'll see uh, how that goes. Let me, oh, before I get too far, uh, the razor. I finally uh, got my hands on a Mamba. I've wanted to get one for a while. I had a black Mamba, and eventually I moved it on because I had too many razors, but recently I slimmed down, and I saw this beautiful razor. Um, on, you know, Italian Barber when he started selling them a while back. And boy, this is impressive. The fit and finish on this, um, it is quite good for $49.99 for all stainless. Handle is grippy. This is definitely, at least to the hand, an improvement over the Black Mamba that I had. Much more attractive. The fit and finish is better. I like the overall feel of it. We'll see, we'll see how it shaves, but... Um, Really nice razor. By the way, if you want to reduce the weight a little bit or the uh, length of the handle, you can unscrew this part right here, which is probably somewhere around half an inch. I'm not sure what it weighs, but um, if you're a stickler for that sort of thing, you can unscrew it. I like it on myself. But I must say, I'm very impressed. For 50 bucks for 316 stainless, this is beautiful, and it is uh, has a unique serial number underneath that says Razor Rock Mamba. Um, really beautiful for the money. I mean, really, again, probably a really outstanding value. Okay, let me wet my face now and we'll, we'll get going. Stay tuned. All right, here we go with our Blue Fougere. And this is the Razor Rock uh, Black and Acrylic Synthetic, which is very nice. I believe it's still sold there. I can't recall exactly what the cost is, but, you know, on these Razor Rock branded products, you're never going to pay... Uh, more than you need to. They do bring you significant value and they're probably the leader in the value space uh, or certainly, if not the leader, one of. They really, the Razor Rock line just really brings you value. Now, some argue they don't think every soap uh, is great or as good as some of the other artisan products. And that's a fair argument. But uh, Razor Up puts out lots of different things. They've recently come up with their Hard Puck, which I think is very good. Uh, and this soap here, as you can see, uh, generates a tremendous lather as well. So <clears throat> I don't think you can say across the board that Razor Up soaps are inferior because I don't believe them to be... You might find one now and then um, that maybe isn't quite as good as what you normally use. I think that's a fair argument. But overall, for the money you pay, I think you can find some really good products. Um, 
and they're constantly just, you know, striving to bring something different. And uh, this guy here is a beauty, I must say. Feels very nice. All right, excuse me, I had to sneeze there. It's very smooth, as I remember it, definitely on the mild side. Um, the only reason I let the black mamba go was because at the time I had so many razors and I wasn't using it much. And, you know, now and then when I slim down, some things don't make the cut. That doesn't mean it wasn't good. It was just wasn't using that much. And so, you know, uh, let's move this guy on. And uh, I'm glad I did because I really prefer this particular version, which has a much better fit and finish and feels uh, just as nice in terms of a shave. Again, this is a mild shaver. Smooth would be the way I would characterize it. But it's on the mild scale. Um, so if you're looking for extreme aggression, you won't find it in this razor. Very nice. All right. That was a very nice first pass. Stay tuned. We'll come back for pass two. All right, here we go, pass two. And I'm struggling to find a way to describe the scent of this soap. Um, it's definitely, you can definitely get the blue, which is like your powdery um, blue aftershave type scent, a little bit of that. But then you also get that fougere type scent. If you're not familiar with fougere, it's usually a greenish type scent, sometimes spicy, sometimes a little sweet. It just depends on the artisan interpretation of uh, Fougere. Martin de Condre is my favorite Fougere scent of the group. Not my favorite in price, but it's a very good scent. And I keep it for that reason only because I can't find uh, that scent in anything else. If I could, I'd get rid of it because overall, you know, it's a very good soap, don't get me wrong, but I don't find that it's, um, in performance at least, that much better than anything else, if at all, quite frankly. So, uh, if I had another uh, soap with that scent exactly, I'd probably get rid of it. Um, because, you know, it, it, again, it's very good, but I don't think it's special. Um, all right, pass number two. Very smooth here. This uh, razor is non-threatening, so if you're new and looking for a uh, stainless steel razor that is mild, this one will probably fit the bill for you. It's uh, similar to, say, a Merker 34 or Edwin Jag or something like that. But it is stainless. It's a little bit heavier, heavier excuse me, but not too much. One of the things that I've noticed as time goes on is that some of the stainless steel razors that I love, loved early on now feel a little bit heavy. Um, it's not heavy in, in terms of it, it makes it a chore to shave. It's just, I don't know, when you use some of the other stuff that perhaps has a little better balance, they just feel better. And where I really noticed that was on the single edge razors. Um, I think after having used both stainless and aluminum single edge razors, artist club type, the aluminum, is the way to go on there. It just feels better. I think the design of those, when it's in stainless, it's just, it's a little bit cumbersome. Whereas the uh, the aluminum feels really mobile. And the Hawk version two is my favorite in that uh, style of razor by far. Another great value. All right. So there is pass two and that feels Quite nice. Stay tuned. We'll come back for pass three. All right, here we go with pass three. And as you can see, from a lathering perspective, the stuff lathers pretty good. The brick, by the way, is not super hard. It's um, about like modeling clay. So you can press it into a container. Now, you'll have to have a container 10 and a half ounces or larger to do so. An eight ounce, it won't fit in an eight ounce container. But um, it's not so hard, at least for now that you can't press it into something if you should desire. On the scent on this one, um, it's not a love it for me. I like it, it's pleasant. Now and then, I think I detect hints of anise, which I'm not crazy about. So that sort of puts it on the like it but not love it. 
for me, it may not be in there, but something comes comes across just a subtle hint that smells similar to anise, although that may not be in here. Something presents itself that way, at least to my nose. And I'm not crazy about anise, but um, overall, it's a nice in. It does. It is Christmassy, so it does remind you of Christmas, but it's very difficult to describe. But I would say if you're a fan of uh, powdery type products generally, you'll like this. Um, that's That would be my guess. And uh, if you're a fan of mild razors, you will like this, I do believe. Especially at the price. I can remember in the not too distant past when we thought Weber, who made uh, stainless razors for 75 bucks, Maybe a little more by the time. No, I think it was around 75 was a deal because they were the least expensive stainless razors you could buy at the time, and they made a good razor, too. Great razor, in fact. But now you have these razors like the Mamba, and there may be others that I'm forgetting, Rockwell, um, and other razors who have really... Uh, <clears throat> where the space that was... Uh, left by Weber in that value stainless steel razor, they've certainly more than taken its place. Uh, but what strikes me about this guy is it really is beautiful. The fit and finishes is really beautiful on this. And sometimes when uh, Razor Rock puts out sort of products they're testing with, they'll make a disclaimer that the fit and finish isn't very good. But I can tell you on this one, it is really good. Very well polished. And uh, it's a smooth, mild shaver. So if you're into mild shavers, I believe they have some more in stock right now. You may want to check uh, this guy out. Um, I'm pleased with it. And in fact, I prefer it over the Black Mamba, which was the first version that I had. It is uh, definitely more attractive. I like the handle. Uh, I believe this is a different handle than the first one. Or in fact, I know it is. And I think overall just comes together uh, better, just feels more balanced to me. And it provided for a very nice shave. Astra SP is the blade, by the way. All right, let's uh, rinse the face. We'll come back to the pose. Stay with me. All right, and here we are with the magic made by witches. Thayer's Witch Hazel, which is great stuff. Very nice indeed. And while we let that set, we'll uh, quickly talk about the gear that we use today. Razor Rock Blue uh, Fougere on scent. It's a like for me, not a love, but I love the value. The performance was very good. If you like bluish powdery type scents, you may want to check this out. It is very inexpensive and performs very well. You saw the leather. It did a great job. And we're going to follow it up with a little Blue Fougere aftershave. And we'll see how that does for me throughout the day. And that will determine whether... I really, really like it, or I just like it. Let's see how that... Nice. Definitely getting the powdery. Nice. Definitely Christmassy. Definitely. And I have one other thing to show you today, because uh, I saw this. Uh, Razor Rock had released this when I got this other stuff, and I figured... All right, so here we are back, and this is uh, Razor Rock XXX. Beard oil, as I let the beard grow a little bit, it gets wild as a pack of feral cats. Uh, hairs grow in every direction, and it's not particularly soft, and so we'll use a little bit of this, which comes with an eyedropper type thing, and I don't need much, but we'll rub some of that in there and see if it tames it. it smells great, let's have another drop there. I'm not putting very much in there, just a drop. And that applicator, Makes it very nice. I'm not sure what I paid for that. I want to say somewhere around $7.99 maybe. And hopefully that will tame the CDB <laughs> beard a little bit as it grows a little bit longer. I was just keeping it really short because it irritates the heck out of me when it gets extremely wild growing in all directions. We'll see how that does. It smells uh, just like Triple X. The Triple X beard oil also available from Italian Barber. All right, thanks everyone for watching. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB. You are not, and I hope you guys have a wonderful week.